Hi everyone, I'm Susan Mulvihill. Welcome back to my garden. For my April 8th column, I wrote about insect hotels. And if you're not familiar with them, they are the coolest thing ever. Now my husband and I built this one a couple of years ago. And the purpose of an insect hotel is to house beneficial insects and pollinators. This is a very important component of a productive vegetable garden and if you have an orchard or a berry patch. So the pollinators, of course, are going to pollinate flowers on fruiting plants and beneficial insects are going to help you out in your garden because they will take care of the damaging types of insects. So I think they are very important to have. Now we are going to build a second insect hotel today. So let's get started on it. I'll show you everything you need to know about them. When it comes to building an insect hotel, there's really only two rules that you need to remember. The first is to put a roof on the top and that is to protect the contents and the inhabitants from the weather. And the open side needs to face south. That's so that the sun can warm everybody inside. But when it comes to design, there are no rules. You can make it as simple or elaborate as you want. When we made our first insect hotel, we decided we wanted to use recycled materials from previous projects. So we're going to do that again with this insect hotel. I found a beehive super leftover, and so I decided that will be the main part of the structure. We've got a couple of roof shingles that we're going to use for the top. We have some blocks of wood that we're going to drill holes into for the mason bees and solitary bees. And then we have some boards from an old picket fence and we're going to use those. Now none of this wood has been pressure treated so I wanted to make sure you were aware of that. The first step we need to do is to trim some of this wood so we can start assembling it. Okay, so far so good. We've got some shelves in here. We've got a nice little peaked roof. Lots of cubby holes to put stuff into. Next step will be to put on the roofing. Now before I forget, I wanted to show you two different types of mason bee housing that you can purchase at garden centers and at craft shows. So here's a nice little mason bee house and it's filled with tubes for the bees to lay their eggs in. And here's a tube that's filled with all sorts of mason bee tubes. We have this in our orchard and it works great. And here's a fun, simple idea for making an insect hotel. If you have an old tree stump like this old aspen of ours, you can just drill holes in the side of it and you'd be amazed at how quickly the mason bees and solitary bees are attracted to it. So that is extra simple. The structure of our insect hotel is complete and now it's time to do my very favorite part which is filling all the nooks and crannies with things that will attract beneficial insects and pollinators. Now I have to be honest with you, the weather is awful. <laughs> it's very cold, it's very windy, and I had envisioned this lovely sunny day for a project like this. Well, no such luck. <laughs> so I'm trying to tough it out and be good about it. but. This actually is a great time of year to make an insect hotel and set it out into your garden. And here's why. Pretty soon, male mason bees will be emerging from where they spent the winter. About two weeks later, the females will emerge, they'll mate, and then the females will be going around looking for places to lay their eggs. And they love tubes and openings. So you'll notice there are pieces of wood in here including branches and my husband drilled a bunch of holes in them. So when we made our first insect hotel we purchased a long drill bit for our drill. It is 5 16 diameter and it's very long. 
You could also do holes as small as a quarter inch in diameter, but typically you make the holes about six inches deep, as close as you can get to that. So these holes are going to attract the mason bee females. They are going to want to lay eggs in there. And they lay multiple eggs. They'll make a little chamber, lay an egg, and then they seal it off. Then they make another chamber, lay an egg, seal it off, and so on. So this is really cool. So we have all sorts of branches and such with the holes in there. But there are other materials I'm going to use. I took apart some cardboard boxes and rolled them up loosely and tied them with a little bit of jute twine. And this is attractive to ladybugs and other types of beneficial insects. And so these are going to go in here. Pine cones, those would work. Also, we did make a purchase. We bought some reeds from our local garden center. The reeds are six inches long. You'll notice they're open on one end. They're plugged on the other, which is good. Just make sure you put the open end on the outside of your insect hotel. That's another thing that's going to attract those mason bees. Also, when I was cleaning up one of my flower beds, I found daylily flower stalks have openings in them, so I cut them all to six inches in length, and those are going to get stuffed into here. I also had a lot of branches from some pruning, and so I cut them into six inch lengths. Now a very important thing I wanted to point out about filling up an insect hotel is that you really don't want any paper wasps to find an area that's on like the roof of a section that they could build a paper wasp nest on. And so we will fill this to the gills basically from the bottom to the top of every section because we do not need a paper wasp nest in there. But otherwise, everybody else is welcome. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna get started on this. Okay, I finally got it all filled up. What do you think? I think that insect hotels are so cool. Now, this one is going out in our orchard and we want to attract as many mason bees and solitary bees as possible because we want good pollination for our fruit trees. So that's why you're seeing so many things that will attract them in here. But certainly I could have put in a lot of other types of materials to attract other types of insects. I do hope you'll consider building your own insect hotel because they are a wonderful tool. They're great for the garden. They're very educational. They're fun, and it's a great thing to get kids involved with. It helps them understand that insects are good, not for squishing, and it shows them how cool nature really is. I'll see you next week for the next video.